Well, you mentioned it then, mate, but uh, with Trey arriving and the Mathang arrives as well, the group's sort of shaping up nicely. Was the plan to get them in this early to start gelling ahead of the season? Yeah, I think um, we've always been up against it, uh, right across against the other clubs in the league. I mean, our players get in a week, uh, 10 days before the season, where most teams have them in a couple of months earlier. So it hasn't affected us in the past, and I think... Um, not much has changed as far as our chemistry and the way we go about it, so uh, hopefully uh, that run continues. Last year we kept saying it was a squad that it was a championship looking squad. Mm. How does this one compare? Yeah, I think it's up there. Once Craig arrives as well from his NBL duties, um, I'm quietly confident we've got a, a, as good or not even better team than last year. I mean, a lot will rely on Trey uh, Nichols at the point guard position and the impact he has across the league. Uh, he's really focused on playing at the NBL level, so um, he'll have to play well to get to there. So I'm quietly confident that he, he's going to be a sort of a crowd favourite this year. What have you met, said to Trey about your expectations for him this season? Oh, look, I just want him to give him the best opportunity to get to that next level, and I think that's what we've got to do as a club and an organisation until we get our own team down in Tasmania. Um, we're trying to get these guys to that next level and earn some good income and, and uh, support them. So I think that's the number one reason he's come here. And along with Craig Moller talking to him, I mean, we, we're really going to look for him to have a good uh, offensively out, output. Um, we really need to put some big numbers up. That hasn't been his role in the NBL, um, but he'll be certainly a focal point for us. What were the key lessons you took away from, from last season? Obviously, there were some things like the away game, yeah, Hoodoo, yeah. etc. Yeah. How have you gone about addressing those? Again, I thought we needed uh, a player or a couple of players that can finish games. We lost, uh, I think, seven or eight games for the whole year last year, and six of those were under five points. So uh, the games are tight. We need someone that can take that game uh, on its shoulders, and I think Craig Muller and uh, Trey in particular, um, outside Math Yang, will be those sort of individuals. So it'll be very exciting to watch them play. Uh, we've got a tough run early, so um, yeah, we'll know after round four or five where we sit. We saw Tom in and out of the squad last year. Will this, this year's group be together yeah. all, all season? Yeah, yeah. So there's no more. I think that was one of the things when you get down to crunch time, the fly-in, fly-out model certainly finds you out a little bit. Um, Tom did a terrific job all year, um, but I think that final hurdle and losing at home uh, was only our second loss at home for the year. Uh, that certainly hurt, and I think not having the group here all year is certainly something we didn't want to go through again. Mathang's played some exciting ball in the off-season. He's had some big opportunities. Are you expecting him to come back as a different a different player than last year? Look, he's probably um, the most unluckiest uh, naturalised Australian as far as not playing at the NBL level. We thought Sydney Kings had picked him up and then at last minute decided to go another way. So he did nothing wrong last year and that's why we've got him back again in 2018. He's great in the community. Uh, the kids love him, so it's, it's, it should be, uh, he should just go to another level again, in particular with Trey and Craig and Zach White um, around him.